right, time to see what Home Depot has for the 2021 Christmas season. So right inside the main entrance is some Nutcrackers, giant tinsel candy canes, lighted candy canes, poinsettias, stay warm and toasty all day. <laughs> and of course, joining me today is Jill and Lily. Say hi. Snow globes. That's a little projector. Oh, this is neat too. Oh yeah. Frosty, Yoda, SpongeBob, and Griswolds Christmas vacation. So that's right up the front. Now we have to head to the main Christmas area over there. So up front, in between the checkout areas, where you're going to find the seasonal decorations exactly where Halloween was and now filled with Christmas items. Continuing on, they do have more lighted candy canes. These are three packs, a little bit smaller. Tinsel, Christmas trees, candy canes, and some little pooches. Hold on to some presents and I do see a pickup truck. Red truck with a tinsely tree in the back. Fake snow, which is great for the village areas, Christmas tree selections, in case you're curious as to what they're offering here. Different sizes, different colors. This one's a nine foot Wesley LED prelit for $249. Six and a half foot festive pine LED prelit for $49. That's a great deal right there. Especially those of you maybe don't have a lot of room or just want something small to put in a corner. That's a really affordable price. There's Lily. Electrical connections, which is not really exciting. Big tree here. This is a nine foot Jackson Noble Fir pre lit LED for 400. That one, though, looks nice and full. That's what I like. It's where it's, you can't see the inside and there's lights everywhere. And these lights, though, are smaller than your traditional LED Christmas lights. These are legitimate LED lights, they're about the size of a grain of rice. Where these ones are LED pre-lit, but they are the traditional light bulbs, or you know what I mean, Christmas lights. Color changing as well, 149 for that. The back wall here does have boatloads of Christmas lights, everything from the icicle lights to the giant bulb ones of multicolor, warm LED, red, blue, the net lights, and the prices are, as you can see, some of these stores, I'm not sure if it's either Home Depot or Lowe's where they do do like a Christmas light exchange. If you bring in your old lights, you get like a discount on the new lights. I'm not sure if they still do that, but if you happen to know, feel free to comment down below. Thankfully, we have lights already. We usually buy them at Walmart just after Christmas when everything's on sale and we're good to go for at least a couple of years. So these are static displays, a three foot tinsel Santa, two and a half foot reindeer, six foot nutcracker, polar bear. And these ones are pretty neat. These are more like those really old school type of decorations. It's like a plastic material that you'd hang on your door or window. It looks like that, but they used it for a little penguin scene here, sliding down the hill. Lots and lots of lights, so. Prices are, I feel, are average to above average, but you know, they, at least they have the variety that you need. Inflatables here, which I know people like Alan do love. Baby Yoda, which I don't know his name. Oh, Mandalorian. Minions, little wiener dog up in the background. The tall ones are the Grinch, Santa, and some type of Star Wars character. And a giant teddy bear as well. Some decorated wreaths here, pine wreath. You can see it's like frosted with snow. Ten dollars for the Home Depot store, Canterbury Lane. So this will be a lighted building, which I may have to pick up for the train layout. That's a great deal. Usually they're at least twenty. They're waiting to show me that. More wreaths, different types. This one is battery operated with LEDs, so it's pre-lit. 
smaller wreaths, nativity scene, and pine candle, my favorite. And this is similar to the tree that we have at home, which is like that one there. That's 300, seven and a half foot starry light pre-lit. It's the frosted one. Has a remote control to change the lights, which is really nice. This is a nice big one too, nice and full. And I like the snow colored look, snow covered, frosted look. Door hangers, jingle bells, six foot arctic glaze, twinkling LED tree. Come around here, candles, which is what Jill brought over. $10 for the candle. Some reindeer, which do light up. It's like a frame with a like soft netting material around it. Pampa's grass, never heard of that. This is almost like potpourri, I guess, for that Christmas scent in your house. These I love too, these giant LED trees. I said you could use them pretty much year round if you wanted to. Spiral trees, which are not too bad. More lighted reindeer. These look like the animated ones where the heads move, but I don't believe these are those. These are just static. Another pre-lit bear tree there, which you could decorate if you wanted to, especially if it's outdoors. These are smaller indoor trees. They're out of like, I guess they could be outdoors as well for your front porch, but they're in like a pot, like a vase. 99 bucks for that. This one I can't see. 79 for this. This one's nice. It has the lighted lantern and it's all decorated and lit for $70. 79 I mean, it's pricey for how small it is, but if that is something you're looking for, they do have it. Nice garland here. And the trees are all down here in stock. Looking up there is the giant seven foot, oh, it's a beaver. I thought it was a teddy bear. So inflatable beaver. An animated dog in the box, like a jack in the box, but it's a dog in the box. Boatloads of ornaments. Everything from small, medium, bigger to gargantuan. Really tiny ones here. You can use for crafts or whatever you want. Five inch nutcracker ornament pieces. Color light bulbs, which is nice to have for your houses or villages or whatever else. More lights, light accessories, pathway stakes. And then over here, which I walked by, didn't even show you, some huge ornaments here. You can see the size of them. Really big. This is a twinkling willow tree. That's really beautiful. It's got like, the weeping willow look to it, but the lights are just twinkling. Next to that is six foot Arctic gaze Christmas tree. And a six foot Twinkling Angel 2D. Yuletide Lane LED gift boxes. LED Deer Family. Three pack of them for, let's see, that's the Polar Bear. Polar Wishes Reindeer Sleigh, so that's something different. Gold Deer Scene. Little Reindeer. Eight foot giant size nutcracker. These are the light stakes here. And there is the lighted nutcracker. Oh, look at him. He's actually operating. His eyes are animated. And he's playing music, so I'm going to talk so I don't get hit with copyright. But yeah, that is a really nice piece. Pretty big. You can see the drum does light up as well does his eyes, which are animated. Come around here. Oh, there's a Grinch steal on the presents. That's no good. Looks like it is motorized. That's really, really loud. Wow. Another section of reindeer here. LED rocking horse, three foot. Eight foot giant size gift boxes here. A lot of giant size stuff. You could see kind of compare it to an average person too, how big it would be. That's a nice piece. It would look nice lit up. More yard stakes. What'd you guys find? Who's that, Jack? Oh, look at that one. Just flying around on a sleigh. They have a Grinch one over there, too. Oh, there's a Grinch on a bike or a tricycle. Do a wheelie! 
<laughs> uh oh, it's like crash him up derby. I think they're having a little bit of fun with these. <laughs> oh, the things they come up with for Christmas time. And found this guy hiding over here. Fred Gili must be Italian. From a Christmas story. We got the leg lamp for Gili box. And uh snow globe effect. Blowing snow and they're playing the song from the movie. So up there on the end we do have Santa in a sleigh with some lighted reindeer. And then some more inflatables, peanuts, Snoopy, LED, inflatable, nativity scene, 12 foot giant nutcracker, and a really cool 10 foot giant sized pirate ship with Santa as a pirate or the captain. Penguin up on top with the lookout. We've got the anchor hanging there and the cannon. Pretty neat piece and next to him or that is the shivering reindeer. He looks cold, but he's not shivering though. But he's holding an ice cream cone, which would understand why he would be shivering. And this is something I do have here too, which I did receive as a great gift uh, last year, Ralphie Inflatable, which I still have, which you'll see in a model train layout update. And they have others as well, the Grinch, Snowman, Santa, Tree, Dog, all, all, pretty much all types. Home Depot gift card holder, which is a pickup truck. Come around here, we do have some more items. Peanuts. Oh, he's doing his little sidestep. Well, oh, they're, they're coming to life on me. We got a rocking out Santa with the shades on. Because his future's so bright, he's got to wear shades. Pillows. Yard stakes. <laughs> Is this one working? Oh, there he goes. How are you going to get him back? <laughs> 3D glasses. This is the pine smell, which I like, but they don't last very long. So it's really strong, but only lasts for a few days. Burlap tree collar. 36 inch nativity scene. Which the lantern does light up. Some more tree skirts and collars a lot of reindeer they really went heavy on the reindeer this year and we'll see if we missed anything else there's another nativity scene uh, Santa who's about probably four and a half five feet tall and some plant stuff and just some overstock of trees here I actually just found a display model of the rocking horse, so here it is out of the box. It does plug in with an adapter. Uh, there is lights built into it. And I guess they do a rocking motion and light up as well, possibly to play music. But that's what it looks like out of the box, and it looks really nice. That'd be a great addition for someone's home to uh, put next to your Christmas tree, even with the Nutcracker too, which is still blasting their music. And the one area I forgot to show you is just this end over here, which is more lighted decorations. Snowmen, more reindeer, snowflakes, uh, some of the stuff that we saw in boxes, lighted sleighs, another nativity scene, which is all of your outdoor decorations. outside now and I'm gonna turn to Jill and Lily. We're gonna find out what their favorite items were. What was yours? Mine was those animated guys that were dancing and rolling around. <laughs> Shocking. I like the Jack Skellington like statue plushie. Okay. Well for me it's hard to decide. Um, basically I was just blown away by the selection. I mean Home Depot never fails to impress what they have for Halloween and Christmas and this year is no exception, they have so much stuff there from inflatables to lighted to old school to new. And yes, I did go ahead and purchase the lighted Home Depot store, which will make it somewhere either on the layout or for Christmas time upstairs. But um, for 10 bucks, it was a steal, couldn't pass it up. It's hard to find these for that kind of price. 
But I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below what items you saw that you'd like to have for your home, whether outdoor or indoor, or that you thought was going to be funny and would be for a pretty cool or fun gift. Anyways, guys, to see more Christmas-related videos, check the description down below. Thanks to Jill and Lily for hanging out with me today and joining us for this Home Depot Christmas store tour. And lastly, have a happy and safe holiday, and I'll see you in the next video.